uh, look, so we're back in this time. We have a nice laptop to repair. So this is a Lenovo IdeaPad 330S. Can be the Lenovo a uh, nice laptop? Can be if it's a easy pizza. The problem with this one, pressing the power button, we do have a red light there. But that's all, nothing, dead. Okay, that's the idea. I didn't expect that, actually, the laptop to come on. Because we have the customer email, uh, the customer is a computer business, and they say not turning on. But it looks like the laptop it is turning on, based on the, on the light on the power button. Pressing the caps lock, nothing is doing. Let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. Let's see if it's charging. So we have the plug, 19 volts. Good, plug in the charger. And it's charging. I think it's charging. Let me power off the laptop. The laptop is off and it's taking like 680 milliamps. That means the laptop is charging. Good, so coming on with no picture. I don't think this it will be an easy pizza. Let me open the laptop. Uh, let's see what we can do. And it can be some RAM issue, it can be a BIOS issue, or even worse, like a dead CPU. The idea is we have to take out a pizza from this repair. Yeah, that's a must. So we have to fix it. Okay, so the back cover, it's out. I don't think I've seen this motherboard before. Someone opened the, or take, take, take out the motherboard before. We have a shield here. One screw missing. Yeah, one screw is present there. Yeah, actually we have two screws. I mean, this is expected, because it's coming from a computer shop, probably they try their best, you know, whatever, like RAM memory, and okay, we don't have a RAM memory. Probably we have like an onboard RAM. But let me plug a RAM stick. We have a BIOS battery, one second, let me disconnect the BIOS battery. Let's see. Okay, let me connect back the BIOS battery. Plug in the charger. Pressing the power button, the laptop it is coming on. It's taking like one amp. The current is changing and that's good. That's actually very good. Yeah, like two amps now. 1.7, 1.6 is good. Or not. Well, actually, kind of this going down. No, nah, it's not good. Constantly going down. And now it's taking more power because the fan is spinning at full speed. You can see. So, uh, not sure what's going on here. Caps lock is not working, so not sure what uh, what can I do for this laptop. I mean, how can I fix it? Everything is fine. Everything is fine. How you will fix it? Hmm? Looking for a BIOS uh, firmware. So you have on one one hand you have BIOS firmware, and on the other hand you have disable the RAM. Uh, the onboard RAM, huh? which one you'll choose? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We have the BIOS chip here, we can read the BIOS, disable the RAM memory, kind of flexing this board. And uh, because Lenovo, it's well known having uh, you know onboard RAM issue, and then write the BIOS back and uh, see if it's working. Perfect. P number one is here. Good. Let's open the software. 2.2. 2.2. 2 
2.2 working fine. Uh, 2.2. Let's read the uh, let's read the BIOS. I have no idea why it's not working with uh, 1.8. BIOS verifying. Okay, it's not working. That's okay. That's fine. Original. Yeah. Let's save it. Okay, so we have the BIOS file here. Let me move the BIOS on the laptop so we can run the program and disable the BIOS, the memory. And we have a USB stick. Yeah, here. Perfect. Good. So we have the program here. But probably you can't see. Uh, opening the program. We have a DDR4. Let me grab the BIOS, which is on the USB. USB. And that's the BIOS file. And check there how many RAM uh, we have on the on the BIOS. So I'm going to disable all. Good. Not sure what I should press now. I have no idea. Let's try this one. Yeah, I think it was this one. Because it created me another file here. So if I take this file and I drag it here, I have no RAM. Yeah, so we are fine. So I'm going to take the USB out. PC screen, where is the program? Let me detect the chip. And the chip is detected. I'm going to open the BIOS, USB. So this is the file created by the program. And 2.2. And write to the BIOS. Yeah. So now it's erasing, then programming. Let's wait a little bit. It's taking like 35 milliamps, so we are fine with 2.2 volts. Finishing, and now it's programming. Nearly done. Probably we'll got an error here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. That was expected, that error. Programmer, it's out. Let me plug the charger. Uh, BIOS, I forgot the BIOS. Let me disconnect the BIOS. Good. Perfect. Plug in the charger. 19 volts. Let's see. I'm curious. Where is the power button? Yeah, it's here. Pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on. Taking like 400 milliamps. Uh -huh. Why so low? Restarting, and that's a good sign. Restarting. And restarting. Okay, that's not good. Too many restarts. Huh. <sighs> that's bad. Yeah, the CPU is cold. Why so many restarts? Because we assume we read the BIOS right, which probably we didn't because we got that error. Now, even without the RAM memory, it's doing the same. Yeah, it feels bad, man. So, what the lot is trying to tell me, actually, we lost the original BIOS most likely if we are trying to write the BIOS back the original one probably it will do the same exactly the same <sighs> okay original BIOS which is this one good write the BIOS 
Let's try one more time with the original BIOS. Okay, and the original BIOS is back. Yeah, of course, another error. Let's see. Pressing the power button. 400 milliamps. Yeah, we lost the, the customer BIOS. And it's doing exactly the same, it's rebooting. Well, it is what it is. We need a new BIOS for this laptop. Well, yeah, actually, let me reset the BIOS. Yeah, same thing. If the BIOS is messed up, um, the CPU will have no power. Basically, this is cold. Good. Let's find a BIOS. And we found BIOS request. Yeah, that's our model. Yeah, we found a BIOS. Yeah. Good, 2.2. Yeah, open the BIOS, write the BIOS. Good, let's wait, let's wait. And error like usual. Let's see. Plug in the charger. Pressing the power button. And it's taking one amp. Ha! Huh? One amp. Hmm? 1.6 amp. We have picture. That's crazy. Can't believe it was a bias issue, actually. I thought, you know, it's the onboard RAM, but no. Okay, let me power off, because I want to test something. Power off, plugging I am to drive. Good. Pressing the power button. Let's see if it's working. We can have a surprise. It's loading the windows, I can't believe. So all working fine. I mean, I'm happy it's working because, you know, if you have to disable the onboard RAM, it will work till the moment the customer, it will do a BIOS update. Remember, uh, yeah, working fine. Remember last video when I disabled the onboard RAM? And the people said on the comments, yeah, but what about the customer is doing an update? The customer read the comments. The first thing, what he did when he got the laptop was a BIOS update. Just because he's seen the video. Obviously, the laptop died and uh, yeah. I told him, you know, I can't help you because there's no other way to fix this issue. Maybe if I take the schematic and try to figure it out how the... Chipset is switching the RAM banks. Yeah, maybe, but that's long. I'm not, uh, you know, comfortable on uh, playing with the components on the motherboard around the chipset. So uh, I'm happy this laptop is fixed. I can't believe I got it wrong. Mousepad is working. Yeah, everything is working fine. Let me shut down the laptop. Yeah, that's Diana SSD. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So what we are doing right now, we are sharing the BIOS, okay? Lenovo. Lenovo 330 
एस डैश फिफ्टीन ए आर आर ये बायोस द एक्चुअली वर्किंग बायोस ये एंड वी आर शेयरिंग यू शेयरिंग द फाइल ऑन आवर डिस्कवर्ड ओके सो इफ यू नीड द बायोस यू गोन टू फाइंड द बायोस हियर कूल ये Let's plug the BIOS battery. Plug in the main battery. Let's test if it's charging. 120 milliamps, which is the pre-charge current. 600 charging. Pressing the power button. Yeah, let's wait a little bit because we just plugged the BIOS battery. It should be working. Yeah, it is working. Yeah, we have no uh, no SSD inside. All done. What I don't understand why I have this problem with my programmer. Why I have to raise the voltage to like two point two. Why I always get an error um, when it's verifying because that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. So uh, it is possible my programmer to have an issue. Or the cable, or I don't know. Maybe because I didn't update it ever. It is an update for this programmer. Help. Software version. It's not. It, it's yeah, yeah. It's the latest version. I don't have a firmware update. Well, if you know, it's not like you know. I can't do the job. Uh, is confusing i mean i'm not saying raising the voltage to 2.2 from 1.8 is quite like a bad thing i'm assuming it's only the bios chip on that power rail but you know i would love to know what's the problem anyway i'm gonna stop now i we haven't tested if it's working on the battery only but it should be it should be working pressing the power button it is coming on And we have pictures. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here. Just uh, you know, press you know, like, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members-only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.